Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Prima. My name is Tiffany and we're going to alter this frame. And um, it is using the Prima Seashore collection. And I'm just gonna go through real quick what I used. Um, let me give you a little close up here. It's my kids at the beach. And then kind of how I altered the sides here. So this is the frame, and I did do a little bit of prep work on the bottom and stuff, but it's how you get it, and it comes um, with this here, and then I used the um, ATC pad, and I think Carrie has all the numbers, but it is 814052, and the 6x6 pad, uh, the number is 81. 3642 and let me just go through real quick you guys hear me and stuff okay see me okay oh I think UPS is here and then I use um, a 12 by 12 paper and this one is the sh uh, shore side and the number is 813628 and that one looks like that I use this side and then um, this is the back and then I also used um, this Prima Finnebar uh, stencil and it is the um, weaving, and the number is 962333. So that's that one. And then I use a ton of flowers. Let me grab them. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> okay, so I used uh, these ones here. Whoop, I forgot that I switched my camera so I'm not upside down. Okay. Uh, this is 574970, and I use uh, one of the brads, and the number is 572747, and then you can go on the, um, the Prima blog and find the whole list also. And then I used the flare buttons. And, I use, and the number is uh, 572723. And then I used the Satan Crystals, and these are from the Epiphany Collection. The number is 576226. And then I used these ones here. Sorry, am I going too fast? Probably. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Uh, the number is 574987. And then I also use these. And these are really neat. They have like script and stuff on them. And the number is uh, 571047. And I also used some of these um, treasures here. Love these. And the number for this one is 891978. And this one is 891985. Almost done, guys. <laughs> and then these little flowers here. And then the number is 566593. And I also used um, gesso. And the number, I don't know if it has a number on here, actually. Oh, yes, 961374. And then I also used the micro beads. See the color, maybe? 
kind of has a lot of glare. Um, the number is, and this color is Splash. Color item number is 962630. And I think that's it. Oh, sorry, flying stuff here. I use this clear stamp and it is um, the crackle I believe and the item number is 961855 and I used some of the wheat um, wheat jute and item number five seven six eight seven five and the item number for the frame I don't know if I said that but it's eight nine two four zero one so I used the tag and so I'm gonna take it off and then I took this out I took it in and out quite a bit of times <laughs> So that's why it's like this. Um, then I traced my... I'm actually going to set this over here. Out of the way. And then I traced it on to the paper. Um, but I already did that. So right here and it's not it's a little bit smaller and it's not perfect uh, because you're really not even going to see it I mean you can barely even see the paper back there so I'm not too worried and then I distress it as well so um, and then I use this paper um, and then I think I already yeah I already uh, drew out what I needed to for that. So I'm going to cut and see if I can find my scissors. Okay. So Hi everybody that's just joining us and this one this paper is from the 6x6 I don't know if I already said that it was this one right here um, this one here and then I just traced it like that just to get the outline of the the curved part and as you could tell, it's not perfect at all. So I'm actually going to cut that down just a little bit more. I love this lighthouse. And then I'm going to grab my distress tool and just stress a little bit. So I'm a big foodie, so what do you guys eat for dinner? I know it's kind of a weird question. <laughs> what everybody have?
So who has the Seashore collection? You guys talking about sports? Okay, and then I'm gonna do the stenciling on here. And then we'll um, paint the, the frame. So. Gonna glue it down with some Fabri-Tac. And oh, I also used the um, chalk edgers and a little hint. Um, I live where it's really hot. So um, my office gets really, really hot and there's no air conditioning in here. So I just spray a little bit of water on if I feel like it's a little bit dry. Um, although this one I probably should replace. It's kind of getting to that point. Um, just gonna take it and ink the edges. Oh yes, it's a uh, shabby tote. Okay. And grab a palette knife. And oh, I used the modeling paste. Sorry, I forgot a few things. Um, the item number for this is 961411. Scrape it on there. I'm really going to do the edges because the middle is going to be um, embellished anyways. So. Okay, so that's that. And... While it's still wet, I'm going to add the microbeads so that they stick. And these go everywhere if you're not careful. So. I'm going to use those again later. Okay. I'm going to just dump them, the excess off in my trash. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm um, going to take my brush and get the gesso. Using a dry brush, so you're gonna want to paint. I already did the back and the bottom, um, but you're just gonna paint it kind of thick because you're gonna end up wiping some of it off. I 
I loved this frame just as is. I almost didn't even change it. But I just, I don't know. Just a shabby look. A little bit more shabby than it already is. And I already did the inside. You don't really have to worry too much on the inside because you're really not going to see it. Um, especially the back. You're not going to see the back. So. Okay. So is anybody going to see the Avengers movie? I'm a big nerd, so we're so excited. We're going to go tomorrow, but... My son has a, um, they call it like a May Day dance um, for his school, so can't go tomorrow. So we're going to go Saturday. And I'm not doing this like perfect at all. Some areas I'm rubbing on more and some just a little less. And in this part, I kind of use like a circular motion. Just to kind of get in all those creases. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. It just gave it a little bit more shabby look. Then you're going to take a paper towel or washcloth or baby wipe, uh, whatever, and spray it with some water. And, oh, wipe that off too much. Okay, and then just lightly wipe it off. And parts of it's still wet, and that's okay because it kind of blends it in. Oh man, there's a lot of little bristles in my paint here. gonna take my paintbrush again and do this part again because okay has anybody altered one of these yet the frames Oh, me too. I buy more baby wipes, but I forgot to bring them. I had to get a new pack, so. Okay. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to just kind of, well, I need a little bit more on here. This is just some chipboard from my stash. I'm just gonna. I kind of want that um, woody color still, so I'm not doing too heavy of a gesso. Oh my goodness. The bristles on this brush. Okay. Oh, I got lost you guys here. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to take this 
And I'm just going to heat it with a tool, so if you don't like the heat tool, I'm just going to turn it on. This modeling paste dries fairly quickly, so, um, okay, I'm just going to take my photo and ink the edges, sorry, off frame here, and this is um, in Oceanside, California. Okay, and let's see, I'm trying to remember everything that I did, okay, I need to get my, um, my ATC card here, and then I use this one, uh, it says the beach is good for the soul. And we're going to cut it up. I'm going to move this. So I'm just giving the frame a little bit more time to dry so I don't have to use the heat tool. And it's not perfect. I don't really measure. Whoops. So, let's see. Yes, I uh, made this quite a while ago, so <laughs> I have to kind of look at it to see um, what exactly I did. I tried to remember, but I'm so nervous that... Okay. So I'm just cutting them so that they're cut out like words. And then I did, all of them are one word except for is good. So, okay. I'm gonna leave that one. Okay. Does anybody live by the beach? Oh, thanks, Kathy. Okay, so I'm just using my distress tool. I'm going to just kind of give these a little bit of distress on the edges. Bye, Pam. You know, Barbara, when I, when we lived in, um, well, when I lived in Carlsbad, we used to go, me and uh, my son went all the time because we were like, you know, we could walk there. But when we moved to Escondido, which is probably not that far, probably like 20 or 30 minutes. Um, we rarely went. So, and now I'm stuck in the desert and <laughs> I can't believe that I took the beach for granted. <laughs> There's so much dirt here. My kids love the beach. When we go visit my husband's family, we always go to the beach. So, you know, San Diego's like perfect weather all year round, so. OK, 
Okay, two more letters or words. Anybody have big plans for the summer? Oh, I love Old Town Barbara. So neat over there. Okay. Then I'm going to, I used, um, another. Here they are, right on top. Okay, I believe I used, oh no, that's the tag. Sorry guys. Let me just pick this stuff up so I can get the tag here. Okay, here it is. So I used the tag, kind of just like this in the back. And my ink. Sorry guys, I'm really, really messy scrapbooker. <laughs> so um, my stuff is just everywhere. So I'm gonna ink the edge. And my glue. my glue actually I think I'm going to use hot glue just a little bit okay so that it sticks and I just want kind of the aqua teal color whatever color that is teal, aqua, turquoise, blue color, <laughs> and then um, just to stick out from the side here just a little bit. Okay, and I used, um, I have like this foam, it's not like, it's like foam packaging, so I used that to um, pop up my picture. I'm just going to add it with some hot glue. Okay. stick that down here like that and I think that's it I think now I'm going to um, I did some stamping on the frame like this. and There it is. Things are getting lost already over here. Okay. So this is the old road. I love this color. And I'm just gonna stamp it or ink my stamp, sorry. And just randomly stamp along the sides. And the front. Just 
just like this and I'm not gonna bother doing the back because you're not gonna see it I'm actually gonna give these for Mother's Day so okay so that's that and let's do the flowers I sprayed the flowers with the color bloom uh, soft teal another thing that I forgot to mention okay and I did um, one of these ones in one of these. I used the bigger flower. I think either it's the same. I think it's just a little bit bigger than this one. But we're just going to use this one for tonight. Uh oh, the button fell off. I grabbed it way too hard. <laughs> Glue that back on. Okay. And anything else? I think I think that's it that I sprayed. I'm going to use one of these. And I take the leaves off. Sorry, leaf lovers. Okay. And you're going to want to shake it. It's a really soft color, so you kind of have to spray a little bit a few more times than you normally would. Hi, Miranda. Okay, so I think um, how I put this in here, it's a little bit tricky, but I put it in and then I embellished, so you kind of just have to kind of fold it, but I actually used, again, this foam that I have. I don't even know where I got it, but it was on the side of my desk and I thought it was perfect. So, I mean, you can use pop dots. or cardboard. I'm just going to hot glue those together and okay I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit more tricky because it's going to be a little bit harder to bend. Okay. And. Okay, just wanted to see how it sat in there before I added the glue because once you add the glue. And I'm going to use E6000 for this. Um, maybe. Okay. Sometimes the E6000 wants to, like, just run everywhere, and then sometimes it just is hard to get out. Okay. So, 
I mean, you can paint this or spray it, whatever, if you're worried about it, but I'm not, so. It's a snug fit, but it fits. Okay. I think I put my picture a little crooked. Okay. So that's that. And I'm going to use my heat tool again to dry these flowers. this one just like that I'm gonna it's a little wet still. okay and then I kind of just crinkle it just like that and I'm gonna put that there with some hot glue. And then I used some of these. dump them out here and when I put here and I think that's the only one from that one I think the other one over here okay and then the chipboard piece is gonna go just like this but I also have some um, oh goodness my mind is going blank cheesecloth just I didn't have any net or anything and I thought this was the closest to it so just gonna rip it just adhere it to the bottom there just to give some more texture and then I'm gonna put the chipboard piece there leaf fell off okay and I'm gonna add a little bit of the cheesecloth over here oh. man sometimes those glue sticks and those stringies okay and I'm gonna take uh, let's see one of these this is um, five seven four nine seven zero use this one here I'm 
and I'm gonna put it keep sliding on me oh man let's stick it in between this one here because I'm gonna end up sticking some other embellishments right there too so okay then you can just kind of see it in there okay. and I'm gonna take the resin pieces and use this one one of the brads and I think this time I'm gonna use hmm, which one should we use I think I'm gonna use beach life and I just take the um, the prongs and then just bend them back and forth and then they come off so I'm gonna put that one there and I'm actually gonna use some Fabri-Tac and then stick it right there And I'm gonna take a layer button and let's see, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. It says, I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Anyways, it's uh, kind of has some script on it. So I'm going to stick that up there. Just like that. Should have added some hot glue to the back. Okay. And I'm going to take my stamp again, if I can find it, there it is, and I'm going to use um, the shabby tote, I'm just going to go in and get that chipboard piece just a little bit to add a little bit of texture and the shell okay sorry guys I'm all over the place here okay I'm gonna take another one of these flowers and stick it right there And then now we're going to embellish um, this side of it. So this one, this part. Okay. I'm going to take that um, little flower. It's right here. Just a second ago. Here it is. Okay, this one. And one of these. 
And then I'm gonna take this big flower here. I'm just gonna kind of crinkle it. First, I'm gonna take some more of this. There we go. I'm just gonna put it on the side right there. There we go. And. hot glue, stick it there, and stick that one right there, okay, and that little flower, just like that, oh, one second, I lost you guys, am I talking too low, I feel like now I'm talking a little low. Okay, I'm gonna take, um, let's do this one. And the Fabri-Tac. That one there. And I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna get a little crab. The crabs are so cute. And I'm going to stick the crab right there. Isn't this little crab so cute? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Okay. So gonna take another button here and I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Right there. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of the Sade and Crystals. There they are. I'm just shoving everything to the side here. <laughs> okay, so everything gets lost. And just going to randomly put them on my project. And put them there. I love these and I'm not a big glitter person so and but I, I love these I think I don't like glitter because it gets everywhere actually I'm gonna because that one's on the modeling paste I'm gonna stick that one here with some hot glue Okay, this just mm, does not want to stay. All right, a couple more, I think. Go on right there. Okay, and now I'm going to take the... wheat jute yeah no I'm not really much of a glitter person 
and just wrap it around and then I'm gonna kind of play with it so that I can get it how I want back there before I stick the glue and I think I'm gonna cut that part off Who's having ice cream? Okay, so I'm gonna take my glue. Probably can't see this, but I'm just gluing it right behind the flower there. And then I'm gonna take it and I don't want it all in a circle, so I'm gonna try to I'm going to take it and glue it behind this flower. Just like that. Okay. And for some reason, I always get one that doesn't want to do what I want it to. So I just snip it off. Just like that. I'm gonna snip that part off too. Okay, now we're going to add the um, the words on the side here. I don't think I should have done this so quick, Carrie, because <laughs> I totally forgot what I did. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the words. And I'm going to ink the edges with the shabby tote. Not getting all of the, like all the white. So. Okay, and then there's the beach. Thank you, Miranda. The beach. Kind of staggering them too. I lost my is. The beach. Hmm. Oh no, forgot. Okay. I'm such a space case. Okay. Is good. Four. It kind of reminds me of like those signs, those wood signs. Sorry guys, I gotta get a glue stick. Sorry, my chair. <laughs> so creaky. Okay. Good for the soul. And I'm going to add another resin piece up here. I'm add this little tiny seashell. Ah, okay. That's going to take quite a while to dry. Okay. Let's snip some of this off here. Okay. 
the sun went away so I hope that it's um, not too dark okay and I did do some splattering so I'm gonna take just the packaging and cover up my picture because I don't want my picture to be splattered on and I might have used a paintbrush, but I'm just going to do it like this. My, okay. I don't know if you guys are familiar with my videos, but I have a tendency to get out of frame quite often. Okay, I'm just going to splatter the sides. And last, I think it's the last, I'm going to add a little bit of gesso to the flowers. Oh my gosh, that went by so quick. Okay. flowers to the button kind of rub it off flowers back there that's it so how did it turn out guys yes I did use the micro beads I used them in the background of the um, you can see I used them back here I don't know if you guys can see that Okay, this is slidey. Thank you. Oh, I did do one last thing. I inked with the shabby tote all the way around. And even on the back, the legs. Yeah, <laughs> I should have used a little bit of, I mean, I watched so much of Miranda, I should know by now to use a little bit of hot glue. Thank you guys. It went by so fast. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to stop recording.